live from Bahrain, it's theCUBE. Covering AWS Summit Bahrain. Brought to you by Amazon Web Services. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are here live in Bahrain for Amazon's Web Service Summit in the Middle East. Really built around the big announcement around their region coming, which should open up in Q1 2019 and Amazon full force here, and really bringing together a combination of cloud computing, cloud native, uh, together with the community and entrepreneurship here. And of course, we want to save the best for last of the day interview. The entrepreneurs themselves are going to tell straight scoop what's <laughs> happening, because there's a lot of action here. Uh, Alahari Alatari, who's the CEO of 1GCC, and Zaman Zaman, founder and CEO of Skip Lino. Welcome to theCUBE, thanks for coming on. Thank, Thank you. you for having us. Thank, Thank you for having so us. So I got to say, I was watching you guys yesterday in your little, in the Baja Rain, you and your best behavior, you didn't chirp too loud, but I can see <laughs> the energy and the entrepreneurs. You know there's real entrepreneurs in the room when you can see the energy, right? Mm -hmm. and, and all the executives are in there, and you got the Amazons, so you're in your best behavior, banging your fist on, on the door. You guys are doing some good work. So okay. congratulations. Thank, Thank you very much. So what's the real deal? What's it like here? I mean, I know it's tough to get access to capital, but the government's bringing some capital to the table. There's momentum, there's opportunities. What's the straight scoop here? Um, so in the past two years, um, when Bah startup Bahrain started, uh, there's been tremendous support from the government because they really want to see this, uh, what they're calling the fourth industrial revolution. They want it to happen. Uh, they're pushing for it, they're pushing technology uh, startups. And we, we were really blessed to be um, I mean, to have started just a few months before that, so we're really riding a, an amazing wave. They've been, um, we've been getting a lot of support from Tenkin, lots of legislation support from the government. The EDB obviously have been doing a, a massive job in trying to support us, getting us business. And um, I mean, since, since we started till today, uh, we've at least uh, doubled or even tripled the amount of clients we have. And uh, th there's a lot of uh, attention now to technology startups. Yeah. And, and I think uh, as a growing sector here in Bahrain, we're really, we're really reaping the fruits of- And what is your start, one GCC? Just take a minute to explain what your startup's doing, how many people you got going on, stage yeah, of the opportunity. Yeah. So, so before, I joined, before I founded or co-founded uh, one GCC, I was uh, in an investment firm. And one of our investments was in Saudi. It was called uh, a mega recruitment company. And uh, what we were trying to do is, we had 500,000 work permits, we had to bring a bunch of people and start outsourcing them to companies. But the Ministry of Labor still wanted us to ma maintain satisfaction with within these uh, companies yeah. that we were working with. And it was a very tough challenge trying to find the right GCC nationals, the right Saudis. I mean, 40% of them uh, hold degrees in humanitarian and Islamic studies. So, so how, how do you place uh, all of these when most of the jobs that are being offered are in construction, retail, and other services. So that's when we started 1GCC, we said, you know what? Yeah. Uh, we'll hire people based on skills rather than, um, I mean, their job titles or academic background. And, and that's, that's really where we started 1GCC. So you it solves your own problem. I, I, exactly. You had, a scar exactly. you had a little pain well, there. Well, today it's our own problem. Yeah, now you have a bigger problem, it's called growth. <laughs> yeah, at, at, <laughs> but tomorrow is going to become a global problem. I mean, yeah. AI and smart machines wiping out almost uh, maybe 70% So of how the many people involved in the startup? What's the stage, would you call it? What, uh, um, so today we have uh, 18 employees. Uh, we're still early stage, but we're growing. We're Good. growing uh, as hard awesome. as we can. Yeah. Great, tell us about your story here. Well, Skipline was a multilingual intelligent queue management system. So we, re we realized there was a a gap in the market. You first explain what a queue management system okay. is. Remember, queue is not an American word. Okay. That's an English word okay. or <laughs> okay. international okay. word. Queue is line, they call uh, okay. it in America. Let's say, let's say li li line management. But that's system. what we're talking about. Physical standing in line at the bank. Yes. You know. Uh, when, you go then, when you go there, you actually take a token and wait. So we realized that was a problem, not, not only in Bahrain, it was a global problem. What we did was, we went to investigate uh, the issue, because how it started was that I went to a bank a day before I traveled, and I had to wait for one hour and 45 minutes just to, to secure a check. So I found that, that not acceptable. So what we did was go study the market, and we realized that there was like three or four players controlling the market for the past 30 years. Uh, some people tried to do it cloud-based, but they didn't get it right, because they didn't uh, cater to uh, 
uh, those segments, which is the large B2B clients that need to scale or have a large number of branches. So when we decided to go uh, and build it on the cloud, we realized that there is no performance uh, management on each agent that is live and was streamed. So when we built the reports, we realized that most of it is bottlenecks that can be solved with AI or uh, machine learning. So we incorporated that into Skiplino. Now Skiplino has around 2,500 companies from around the globe in 196 countries, and it's now in 69 languages. That's amazing. How many people in your, in your opportunity are working with you? Uh, including founders, we are around 15. 15. Great, well congratulations. And one of the things I wanted to kind of get here while we're broadcasting around the content around cloud is, you know, we, I mean I live in Silicon Valley so everyone's got the entrepreneurial bug going on, but you know, you have successes and failures, it's just the way it works, you got to try something and you know, hit the home runs once in a while, but you got to get a couple base hits. The, it's really, a, it's hard. I mean, people don't understand how hard it is. <laughs> right? They've never done it. It's hard as hell. So, but, but having the ecosystem support is key. But Startup Bahrain is doing some good work with EDB. What is the key requirement? What's the need? Where is it working? Are you guys seeing on the ground here? Because, you know, the community's there. That's a check. And that's hard to do. I mean, you know, robust entrepreneur community is good. And there's money. So now you just got to fill in the blank. What is the cloud going to bring you guys? What are you guys hoping for? What do you want to see? Of course with cloud, you, you, the, the best thing that comes with cloud is scalability. For us, uh, we don't have, because in, in effect we're removing the on-premise uh, yeah. thing for uh, the, uh, the on-premise key management systems uh, uh, businesses. Uh, but the good thing that's happening in Bahrain and around the GCC too, is uh, uh, ministries and governments are more receptive for uh, digital transformation and they know that's the only way yeah to keep up. So, actually we're the first cloud-based uh, 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 service the, uh, the Bahraini government used. And you're using Amazon now? N no, we're actually a, a, a Microsoft <laughs> Cosell partner. Oh, okay. Uh, we're the first. Uh, Are you using Azure? Yes. Okay, so. So. Makes sense. Yeah, because we, 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 usually, we usually deal with banks and telecoms. And yeah. Microsoft always has a foot in the door yeah. there, but we, we, we are, uh, thinking of uh, having an AWS it's okay, uh, you can say it here, structure I mean, too. <laughs> that's what it is. I mean, yeah. multi-cloud world we're living in. How about yeah. your solution? Um, so actually, we are we were in the first uh, cohort of uh, C5 Accelerate, which is a program supported by AWS. So we are on AWS, and obviously, I mean, for us as a startup, uh, setting up in the beginning, we have limited resources, yeah. and and uh, I mean, setting up on the cloud. Uh, just makes no it brainer. so much yeah, there's no easier brainer. for us. Not a decision. And exactly. You got to go to cloud. And if you do a startup and you're not in the cloud, you're spending too much cash. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> That's exactly. the way it is. It's the dumbest thing you should ever yeah, do. Yeah. Never, unless it's a prototype and you of want course. it next to you like a puppy and a dog yeah, or whatever, exactly, pet, exactly. you know, kind of thing. Yeah. It's a security issue. Other That's than that, there's yeah. no reason. And it's faster to set up. It's yeah. easier for us to, to, yeah. to reach a wider audience. Uh, when we do reach the wider audience, I mean, the, 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 the what do you think about the show the here? What was your what was your walk away? Obviously, you guys are in the in the middle of the community. We're here for the first time. Mm -hmm. I was really impressed, and I learned a lot. And I, some observations that I didn't expect to have that were really positive. I thought it was a good experience for me. But you guys live it every day. Amazon's in town. There's, there's good dynamics going on. What's your impression? Uh, impression on what? This show, on. Amazon's presence. Um, the, I mean, the community coming together. This was everyone, everyone came here from the Gulf. Yeah, I think one of the main things that we needed to happen in the ecosystem is is that mind shift. So for cor corporates to start adopting startup technologies, and for uh, I mean, uh, investors who are used to invest in, in traditional investments and real estate to yeah. start actually yeah. uh, investing in startups. So uh, I think AWS really helped in that. Uh, mind shift. I think the work that EDB is doing to, to also is helping that mind yeah. shift. Now we're seeing more uh, angel investors who are interested in getting into the uh, tech startup space, and more corporates are willing to adopt our uh, technologies, even though they are fairly new. Yeah. Your it's thoughts it, it on de the show? Definitely trying to spotlight on Bahrain, uh, getting AW, uh, Amazon to open AWS in Bahrain is a yeah. It's an it's first of all we would get we're, we're getting a lot of talent that's going to come in yeah. and be trained to set up. Yeah. So, 
It's a bit, it's a huge. It's like you guys like are standing around. Yeah. It's like, it's like well, the metaphor, I imagine you're kind of standing around, you're working on some things, you're hustling, you're trapping, you're smart, and all of a sudden a big resource generator just pops exactly. down and says, hey entrepreneurs, I was built for you. Yeah. And you're there, and you go, and now you're present at creation. Sure. And when you're present at creation of a movement that has this much growth, because let's face it, there's going to be growth. Yeah. You guys are going to be the leaders. Yeah, yeah. So you got to pay it forward. Yeah. You have a big responsibility, <laughs> and you can make <laughs> some money along the way yeah, too. That's <laughs> true. Get, uh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> you know the little expression. No, you no, around, no pressure. You know the no. expression. <laughs> hang, around the, hang around the barber shop, you'll get a haircut. <laughs> you know? So this is hang around the cloud. You're going to create some value. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got to capture it. So you know this yeah. is the dynamic that I see. You know, as an entrepreneur, I was like, damn, if I lived here. Yeah. I'd be setting up shop, I'd have five companies sure. going on, I'd be telling yeah. all my friends, come on in. Because you're, you're on the ground floor right now. You're president of creation, yeah. you guys, well we're going to yeah. start covering you guys yeah. and, and do some work with you guys, I'm, I'm already convinced it's, it's my... It's a big wave and we're happy yeah. to, be, to be riding we're it. Yeah, we're going we're to collaborate with you guys, I think it's yeah. a really a unique thing. I mean, this at this scale, is unprecedented. I mean, this is Amazon. Yeah. So, I mean, in the US, everyone's jockeying for where Amazon's next headquarters is going to be, and yeah. literally people are freaking out, like, yeah. come yeah. to my state. Uh, because they know with it will come jobs, services. Yeah. It's like putting up a sports stadium and all of a sudden there's all these new things around sure. it, right? It's going on. Yeah. So exactly. this is this is the this is gonna be a big opportunity well, for, uh, for startups. Yeah. So yeah. Um, you guys are gonna be reaping the rewards. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. You hungry? Oh, we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm no idea. <laughs> yeah, I'm from California in <laughs> America. It's like we call the wave, you know. <laughs> get your surfboard, you know, yeah, get out exactly, there. Yeah. A lot of sets coming in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So congratulations. Thanks for sharing. Thank you very well, much. Thank you for coming to Bahrain. Well, it's it's we a pleasure having you. Yeah. Looking forward to working more with you guys. Definitely. Hopefully. Pleasure. Yeah, great thank job. You, John. Okay, thank we're you, here you. in Bahrain. That's a wrap. We're wrapping up with the founders and CEOs. This is the entrepreneurial action here, and the signs are all pointing towards growth. Amazon Web Service is going to bring cultural revolution, economic, society, people, all going to be coming here for the region, not just Bahrain, but all around the region. I'm John Furrier with theCUBE, thanks for watching.